Hey, Lake Point, Pastor Michael here to get you caught up on this eighth week of our series of free humanity. In this series, we're looking at Paul's letter to the churches in Galatia, and we're looking at how Jesus set us free so that we can live free. And to kick things off, let's play a little game. Can you name the movie that this quote is from? These walls are funny. First you hate them, then you get used to them. Enough time passes, you get so you depend on them. Give up. It's from a scene in the movie Shawshank Redemption. If you haven't seen it, the movie takes place inside a prison, and one of the characters named Red, played by Morgan Freeman, has been locked up for most of his life. Now here's the thing, did you know that in a recent study in the United States that 68% that of those who are imprisoned will be locked up again once they're released? The challenge that many prisoners face on the outside is to learn how to live not like a prisoner. And for the new Christians in Galatia, they actually faced a similar challenge. They were trying to learn how to not live in the prison of religion. They'd been set free from the religious prison or religious system that they had been bound with, and now they were trying to figure out how to actually live free. And it was a challenge. In Galatians chapter 5, Paul writes this. He says, so Christ has truly set us free. Now make sure that you stay free and don't get tied up again in slavery to the law. Listen, I, Paul, tell you this. If you are counting on circumcision to make you right with God, then Christ will be of no benefit to you. In other words, with, with Jesus came a, a new covenant. If, if you're going to rely on old rituals, if you're relying on following the old covenant, if you're trying to use your own power to please God, you haven't truly accepted Jesus and his death on the cross. Paul goes on to say, he says, I'll say it again, if you're trying to find favor with God by being circumcised, you must obey every regulation of the whole law of Moses. For if you're trying to make yourselves right with God by keeping the law, you have been cut off from Christ. You have fallen away from God's grace. Paul's saying you're, you're being offered freedom. You, you're no longer bound to the religious systems, and yet you're having a hard time actually letting go of them. And if you can't let go, he says, then, then Christ's death doesn't actually have any significance. Paul is trying to show them that there's freedom in Christ. Not so you can live how you want, but so, how you, so that you can live how you were meant to. Pastor Timothy Keller, he actually puts it this way. He says, religion says, I obey, therefore I am accepted. I followed the rules, so God now loves me. But as Roy shared, the gospel says, I'm accepted, therefore I obey. I've put my trust in Jesus. I've been accepted. I am loved. And it is because of that love that I am moved towards action. I obey not because I have to, but because I want to. Paul wants the Galatian Christians to know it's, it's not about earning God's love and trying harder. It's, it's not about trying. It's about relying. Specifically, relying on the Holy Spirit. In verse 5, Paul writes this. He says, But we who live by the Spirit eagerly, eagerly wait to receive by faith the righteousness God has promised to us. For when we place our faith in Christ Jesus, there is no benefit of being circumcised or being uncircumcised. What is important is faith expressing itself in love. Paul says it's, it's time to put the old ways behind you. You have something better. You have the Holy Spirit. And you really, you're, are you really going to go back to living on your own power? Or are you going to embrace the power offered to you by the Holy Spirit? And for some of us, this is why we get frustrated with God. It's because we're trying to change from within. We're, we're trying to please God based on our own strength. And unfortunately, it just doesn't work. But you probably knew that. It's not about trying harder. It's about getting plugged into the right power source. Paul says we are to live by the Spirit. And so the question is, how do we know when we're relying on ourselves instead of the Holy Spirit? Well, as Roy shared, first, you're going to notice yourself becoming frustrated. Trying to follow religious laws is an impossible standard to keep. You're never going to be good enough, and so you're just going to end up frustrated. The difference between religion and and Christianity is that religion prioritizes the rules, makes you feel guilty for not keeping them, and then leaves you feeling powerless to, to really do anything about it. Christianity prioritizes a relationship. It gives you grace when you slip up, and it, it gives you the life-changing power of the Holy Spirit. The second sign that you're plugged into the wrong power source is, is that you're probably going to feel exhausted. Trying to please God by following all the rules will only saddle you with a burden that will leave you worn out and tired. 
In Matthew 20, Jesus scolds the religious leaders of the day for crushing people with their unbearable religious demands. Jesus came to, to bring freedom. He, he, he came to be your, your resting place, not weigh you down with religious duty. And that's why in, in Matthew 11, he says, come to me, all who are weary, I will give you rest. Rest from religion and your shame and your burdens. The third sign that you're plugged into your own power source is that you feel the need to perform. When you know that you can't live up to the pressure, when you know you've fallen short, yet you want people around you to be impressed, you, you play a role, you, you pretend, you find yourself acting like the good Christian. You might even do such a good job that maybe you start believing it yourself. And so Paul, though, he pleads with the Galatians and he pleads with us. He says, embrace the freedom that Christ has laid out for you. Resist the temptation to go back to the prison of performance. Stop trying to do things in your own power. Relying on yourself and then feeling guilty when you come up short. You were meant to live life powered by God's Spirit in you. Well, friends, consider yourselves caught up. Enjoy diving into discussion questions. I'll see you next time.